My name is Leon Green, and I'm a Jersey City homeowner and uh, business owner and uh, parent. Um, my house is about 800 feet from where the proposed pipeline is going to go, uh, based on the current plan. Uh, from what I've put together here tonight, listening uh, from Dale's presentation earlier, that, that puts my sleeping children within the incineration radius, um, which, which is obviously a serious concern to me. Um, I, I had a funny thing happen. I mean, I walked into this meeting knowing that obviously I didn't want the pipeline to go in. I mean, nobody obviously walks into a meeting like this thinking that their house is going to be within the blast radius of a pipeline and wants to support it because it's going to bring jobs. It's, it's an irrelevant issue. It's just a patently offensive TV I was standing in the hall and I was listening to who I assume is a Spectra representative explaining to people how safe the pipelines were because of all of the mechanisms that were put in place to ensure the safety of the process and maintenance and little robots and pressure gauges and cutoff valves and it kind of reminded me of my children standing on top of an eight foot wall walking down telling me about how they're going to be really 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 careful you know, and, and because they're going to be careful, there's no risk. You know, you don't have to worry about the fact that I'm standing next to a four-foot spike, you know, precipice that I'm going to fall off onto and kill myself. You know, every time that my children have gone in for stitches, and each of them have been in for stitches now, it's because they were doing something that was inherently risky. And they didn't have the judgment or the, the good sense to not do it. That's something that we try and teach our children as we're raising them. And, you know, with my five-year-old son, I can excuse the fact that he was standing on the coffee table and, you know, practicing his crane kicks and, and go figure fell off and cracked open his head. When you're talking about a multi-billion dollar corporation who's in fact making these risk judgments about somebody else's lives, about somebody else's children, and suggesting that because they put in place all of these things to make the pipeline safer, that, that it makes it okay that they put it next to your children. I mean, I, it's so patently offensive, I was sitting there thinking, and it came to my head, and I'm like, well, so you move into an apartment, it's a little small, you bring in an interior decorator, and they tell you that the best thing you could possibly do to squeeze all of this in is to put your fold-away crib on top of your stove. <laughs> it's the safest thing in the house, there's all sorts of mechanisms, it's federally regulated, they've got safety shutoffs on the gas, there's a, you know, an ignition switch that can't possibly go off because it's got a child lock on it, the digital code has to be punched in. So it's perfectly safe. Just put your crib on top of the stove, it's going to save you like 10 square feet in your apartment, and it's going to make it cheaper because you no longer need legs to go underneath that crib. That's basically what we're being told here. We're being told, you know, we need gas somewhere. It doesn't matter. I'm not here to argue for or against gas. That's a much broader conversation than what we're talking, what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is somebody coming in and saying, because it's inconvenient and or more expensive for us, we're going to put your lives at risk. We're going to run this pipeline down through some major uh, environmental cleanup sites, packed with chromium, many of which have not been mitigated at all, some of which are in runoff from other chromium sites. You're going to run it down right through Garfield Avenue, where an explosion is going to send chromium into the atmosphere. It's going to hit people miles around. Then you're going to wrap it around and put it next to the Holland Tunnel. Now, again, you know, so somebody has to be parents to the people who came up with this plan. And at some point in their, in their uh, you know, arc of development, there had to be some common sense introduced that says you don't put things that blow up in high population areas. You, you run them separate. You run them down through the water. You run them up through the suburbs where maybe you can get yourself an easement that's more than a thousand foot blast radius. You know, it, just, it just doesn't make sense. So, homeowner, parent, business owner, teach my kids common sense. Hope, hope that somebody had taught similar lessons to all of you, and I appreciate that you're listening to us. So, vehemently against the pipeline. Thank you. Thank you.